So, you've built out your industry, but it's just not enough income for you. Aside from your greed, there is this nagging blue bar of demand calling for your attention. Now, before you go around slapping down a bunch of random blue squares, hear me out. I spent a long, grueling week messing around with commercial, and it was rough and not enough. I'll do my best to pass along what little I've learned about the what, how, where, and whys of commercial zoning. Before we dive in, let me cover some of the ways I did my testing. One, I had strictly used two wide, four deep sized buildings. Two, I would zone it in, go get some coffee or snacks while I let one of the nuances pass. And three, I actually made a clerical error for half of my math, so I won't be able to give you the exact numbers on how much money or tons of good are sold. But I can tell you the general idea here for each category is still the same. To start, all commercial zones have set mechanics that change depending on specialization and density, as well as some unique attributes. There are some stranger nuances behind commercial, but I'll cover my tinfoil hat theories towards the end. First, let's look at the common mechanics, and then we'll break them down. The basics include how often they need a shipment of goods, who do they attract, locals versus tourists, and lastly, income. Without further ado, I can't think of a better place to start than looking at the unspecialized low density. Here in my notes, I have it written down that general low density is towards the lower end of traffic generation. In my testing, level 3 low density generates a single cargo truck once per month. As far as who it sells to, it appears to prefer residents, although it doesn't look like it attracts tourists, but it also doesn't appear to dissuade them either. Its downside, you ask? It requires city services in order to reach its full potential. So where would you want to place it? I believe the best location for this type of commercial is near low density residential, but not mixed in. It generates truck and tourist traffic, so having easy to access public transportation options and or a main road nearby might be a good idea. Next up is the specialized low density organic and local produce. This one generates the lowest traffic out of all commercial types. Its cargo traffic is roughly 50% less than level 3 general low density, and in my testing that was roughly every 40 to 50 in-game days. This type of commercial also serves 50% less tourists, so you can feel free to place these as corner shops within low density neighborhoods or even as shopping centers for locals far away from main city areas. Tragically, this one, similar to generic low density, has one of the lowest incomes. However, it reaches this income without needing city services. Other than what you can read in the tooltip, there is a quirk to this one. Instead of selling commercial zoned goods, it sells zoned industry farming products which could be a reason why its income is even lower. Now is when we start climbing into the higher densities, and next on the ladder we have tourism. As far as traffic goes, without adequate public transportation, this one is the worst. Assuming you have mildly decent transportation, this one actually isn't that bad only slightly more traffic than level 3 general low density commercial. The traffic surrounding the specialization is mostly made by something unobvious and something only a professional city skylines player could see. Tourists. It still serves local residents, but not even remotely close to the amount of tourists. Side note, this specialization's bonus trait is that it increases your city's attractiveness to bring in more tourists. Who would have guessed? Absolutely wild. 
If you do not factor in tourism income, this one has absolutely the lowest possible income. Its direct income is so low, in fact, that it almost dissuades you from ever putting it down. But it does have purpose. I promise you, it's not useless. I won't go into the details of tourism this video, I'll save that for another one, but just trust me. I've guessed that these help focus where and how your tourists get around. As for placement, I'd recommend putting these near unique buildings, stadiums, park life parks, and well, essentially anywhere that attracts tourists. And please make sure you have plenty of high speed and intercity transit within walking distance or all of these tourists will be driving everywhere, bogging down your streets. Leisure specialization. This one generates one of the highest amounts of traffic out of all commercial types, aside from poorly planned tourism. And in my testing, each had almost one cargo truck per week, as well as tons of people flocking to it. It appears to be the exact opposite of the tourism specialization, serving mostly local residents. It does serve tourists, just like tourism served locals, but that's not its focus. Its income also proved to be one of the highest, and it doesn't even have to level up to reach that amount, so you can save on those city services in its area. I would recommend placing this in a similar manner as generic low density. However, I'd pull this one a bit further away from low density residential areas, since it does generate a lot of noise pollution. You'd also probably want to think about easy access to warehousing since it goes through product so frequently. The amount of traffic this one generates is absurd compared to the rest. So same thing, lots of public transportation and easy access to where your goods come from. Here is the final specialized commercial zoning. Now before you go quoting Lil John, there are no windows, there is no sweat dripping down anything. We are talking about wall to wall. This specialization is on the higher end of traffic. In my testing, it generates slightly less traffic than generic high density, and we're talking by like only 10% or so. It's a very minimal difference. It serves an even mix of both residents and tourists. But unfortunately, it also generates just under the income that generic high density does. So honestly, since everything's pretty much the same, it's just a little bit less traffic and income, I'd probably only use this for aesthetic purposes. Finally, we have the penultimate, the one I've been referencing and comparing to this whole script. Generic high density commercial. Competing for number one against only the leisure specialization. It's tied for an approximate goods delivery every 1.5 weeks, as well as generating roughly the same amount of customer traffic. It serves both locals and tourists. My guess from this is that it might have more total traffic. As far as income, no other type of commercial competes. Leisure is just barely behind in raw numbers, which isn't even accounting for tourist income. There is only one drawback to this type of commercial, and that is it needs city services to reach its highest level. If it wasn't for this, I would gladly say it's easily the number one money generating commercial type. But unfortunately, it's now tied with leisure, which makes comparable money without needing services. You'll just miss out on some tourism. At the start, I mentioned some nuances behind commercial that aren't apparent or easily read in tooltips. The only factual one I noticed that is replicable is that brand new commercial buildings of any type will operate at an absurd rate that appeared to average around 200%, increasing both their income and traffic generation. The longest I noticed this go on for was in generic low density for one whole in-game year. The shortest was in high density and leisure lasting roughly three to four in-game months. 
So when you are zoning in commercial, keep that in mind. Place a little down at a time and just let the simulation work it out, just so you know where your actual commercial demand is. Another thing I noticed that isn't exactly replicable was that the high density commercial, well, at least that I didn't replicate, is that the high density commercial that I would put near my tourism commercial would have more tourist shopping there than other blocks of high density elsewhere. I'm not sure if this proximity is real or if I'm just imagining things. The last thing I might have noticed was who prefers to shop at which density. I didn't give my research enough time. I have a schedule to keep with these videos, but with these zero data I do have to back up this claim, low density residential prefers to shop at low density commercial and vice versa, high density appeared to prefer to shop at high density. I have no clue how true this is or if I'm just going crazy after spending so much time just looking at commercial buildings. Regardless, those are the three little things I was able to notice that aren't listed anywhere in game. If you have any other weird quirks about commercial or just straight up think I'm wrong, I'd, I'd actually like to know, but I'm sorry to tell you I'm, I'm not wrong. In conclusion, commercial type does matter. They all increase your income from different products made within your city. It appears that each type of commercial goes best in different locations. Organic and local produce within neighborhoods and away from main areas. Low density between neighborhoods and main roads. Tourism around intercity transportation and attractions. Leisure around inner city transportation. And well, I guess just slap generic high density in high density areas. Public transportation will probably help a lot and possibly proximity to, to tourism might be real. In my lack of proper research, I am left to assume that they will all still perform well outside of their areas. It will just be the rest of your city that suffers from traffic. What I mean by that is, if you can keep your low density residents away from major high density hubs, the less traffic that'll be in that area. The opposite is true. Keep tourists generating commercial out of low density designed areas. Before I sign off, I want to state my personal disappointment with commercial. It's highly disappointing that we don't have commercial types that will take these specialized goods from other industries. I think it's an incredible feature that we could sell farming goods directly to customers. In my mind, some people are hobbyists. There are people who would want to buy planed timber to build something of their own. There are people who would want to buy certain oil or mining industry products to work on some project. It would have been nice to see more low density commercial focused on selling minorly processed goods to local residents. So anyways, I hope you were able to use something from this video. I appreciate your viewership, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.